Morning guys. David here with Lick Branch Farms. Today we're out here on a deer lease and we're gonna be checking trail cameras, so stick around. Alright guys, today we came out to pull some cards on a couple trail cameras that we got set up. Um, one's on the gas line right away down here in the bottom. We're going to check that camera. I'm seeing a lot of activity on those trails starting to pick up um, because the acorns are dropping around here. It's uh, the 1st of October here in North Carolina and you can look behind me. And you can't really tell it that it's fall here. Leaves haven't started turning but the acorns are falling and the deer are moving around a lot more looking for these acorns. Um, We've got some ag fields on the back side of the property that will be harvested here in the next couple of weeks. Now they're still in these bean fields and you know they are crossing between the beans and they're crossing between the, the acorns. And if you can find those travel routes to get in between them, it can, you, it can make or break your season right now. We are on the top of a ridge and the bean fields are on the bottom of the ridge and the acorns on the oak flats are behind us. So. The deer are bedding in the creek bottoms back here and they're coming up out of those bottoms using you know the edges of these fields the back sides these fingers of pines you see going across the field and we're intercepting those deer in those uh travel corridors i've got a camera set up on this one down here in these pines we're going to check that one we're going to check the one on the gas line and we're going to see where we need to be at this weekend when we come uh when we go bow hunting so you guys stick around we are on the gas line right away and i come in here uh i guess it would have been three or four days ago now before the last rain event we had and uh i bush hogged this gas line real good and uh in preparation for putting in a food plot but as you can see i don't know if you guys can look this uh it's still pretty wet and i don't want to risk bringing a tractor down in here and getting stuck you can see right here it's, uh, it's still pretty mushy so we're not gonna uh we're not gonna be messing with that no time soon we got standing water in that rut but what we are going to do today is come in here and check some of these trail cameras that we got out and see what's uh see what's been roaming around i got a lot of activity on a trail that comes in over here and uh, a lot of a lot of sign so kind of curious to see what's using this area <clears throat> When you bring uh when you come out here to check your trail camera make sure you bring extra batteries and you know a couple extra cards just you never know what's going to happen when you're out here i run most of my cameras on video um simply because it gives me more detail and i run them at the highest resolution possible and that tends to eat uh eat batteries up pretty quick so yeah i see that's a lot better so we're going to um Reset this one, make sure the card's empty. We're gonna get on out of here. I got ideas that, uh, that this one, it had 22 videos on it, and it's been in here for four days. Um, that's really not a lot, but the video's running for close to 30 seconds a piece. So, um, we're gonna go on to the next one, and we're gonna check that spot out. So stick around. Hey guys. We are headed into the second spot to check that camera or to pull that card. And uh, I've seen a few small rubs as I was coming in. And uh, this area here is, is known for having a lot of buck traffic uh, early in the season. It's like uh, the bachelor groups, when they start dispersing, then this is the first place to start getting hit with signs that you know bucks are getting eager to rut yeah look here yeah that's a small rub that's a little bitty rub and you can see on the other side where he's pawed the ground tried to make a little bit of a scrape but yeah this place here is normally eat up with buck sign and uh all it is is a transition between hardwoods and pines 
and these deer use it as a travel uh, corridor between bedding and feeding areas and uh, yeah look there's another one and there's some acorns in here too you can see squirrels and deers already been bunching on acorns look over there all the castings is dropping yeah so right here Sign there. there's another one back there several old ones they haven't got to yet and see this one here is from last year and you can see it was hit multiple years there's different layers there on the small deer track in that one but yeah if we keep going i mean i'm just gonna keep finding them they're all down through here and like i said it's nothing huge i don't think they're um see and this is a pretty good one it's multiple years that this tree's been rubbed on there's another one right there behind it okay. several different layers i mean i mean it's been rubbed on several years in a row and as I'm, I mean, I'm looking out there and I'm seeing them everywhere. But that way, big pines, real big pines. This way, I mean, you can look in there and see the big oaks. These are small pines, you know, aromatic trees that bucks like to rub on. That's, you know, why they're doing this. And plus, they're bedding down here in this bottom next to the creek. They come up here, either they go that way towards an oak flat. It's got a lot of pin oaks, got a lot of white oaks. Or they can go this way and they're going towards ag fields there's beans in it now so they'll be harvesting those beans here pretty soon in the next i'm gonna say at least two or three weeks and uh, those deers are they're going to be looking for another food source well acorns are already falling and you know they're eating on those now so they won't last long and the more it rains the faster them acorns are going to rot on the ground so they're eating acorns they're eating beans and they're eating uh, acorns up on this other ridge. So they're actually coming through here right regular. This is gonna be a great, great stand in the next two or three weeks. We're gonna get over here and check this camera real quick and then we're gonna get on out of here. Make sure your date's right, make sure your time's right. That way when you get a picture of a good deer that's coming in. You don't want to be confused about what time he's coming in. So, all right, this one's ready to go. All right, we headed back to the truck now. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, depending on what comes up on these cards, you know, I may want to be uh, in one place or the other, or one in the evening or one in the morning. It just depends on what the deer traffic looks like so we're gonna get back up here and uh, take a look at these cards and see what we got on here so stick around well guys we got two cameras that we checked the car well we're going to check the cards on but i want to take a minute and talk about uh you know how you know we go about checking ours but i mean these these obviously hundreds of ways you could do this but the easiest way that i found is to go in swap out cards bring your old cars out with you that you, you don't have to spend as much time in the woods and letting the deer know you know deer smart don't take them for granted they are smart the more time you spend in the woods they're going to figure you out and they'll avoid that place altogether but you know they got cameras out now that'll send a you know picture straight to your cell phone it just depends on how much money you want to tie up in it but the way i do mine and i've got an ipad in the truck too but i use a little card reader plugs into the phone use that to put your sd card in and download the pictures you know or you can view what you want on there and uh, delete them whatever you want to do but i use my ipad because i get here looking at this phone i can't make out details and all that good stuff so i use my ipad and this up at the up at the building right now but we're gonna go up and check these out and i promise you if there's anything good on here i'll put it in this video so you can take a look at what we're working with right now and I'll date this video so we can see the progression. You know, maybe towards the end of the season, if we got a good deer on here, we'll get a shot at him. We'll see him again. We'll see him when he gets, you know, after the rut, when he's huge and 
got all these muscles and all this good stuff because believe you me the deer that we're seeing now the bucks that we're seeing now they're going to change and they're going to change drastically and we'll try to name some of these deer and try to keep up with them so you can see the changes that they go through and what they look like then so we're going to get back and check these and we're going to get ready to decide which stand we're going to hunt here tomorrow morning or saturday morning one of the two but until the next time guys if you hadn't already Click that subscribe button over here in the right hand corner. Click the bell notification so you get notified every time we put out a new video. We're going to start doing a lot more videos from the tree, um, bow hunts, and black powder, and rifle hunts. Uh, you don't want to miss any of that. So guys, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.